Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Hub and I'm Penge and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn where today I think we have to complete work on the aerial defence hallway thing we have going on just here. All we need to do really is get that wall in there and that wall in there, then get a couple of doors in at either end and then we need windows, many many windows all down there and all down there as well with the idea being of course that when we're being attacked by flying things we put our survivors up here in that little kind of hallway, they stick their guns out of the windows and then they can fire at the flying insects from inside which gives them a little bit of cover. It might not make them completely immune from being hit but it might reduce their chances of taking acid damage or spit damage or whatever it is that the flying insects can sort of chuck at us. So I think that's the plan. I think that'll be a little bit better than just kind of having them standing out in the open being easy targets like we had last time. So I think that wall is pretty much done in terms of getting the resources in. I imagine Dave the delivery drone has dropped off all the wood we need to get those put together. We just need a survivor to come along and whack those with a hammer. So they're looking pretty good. So all we need to do is get the doors in and then windows. So first of all, let's get time ticking on and we'll see if that window opens and closes like it looks like it should do on that sort of uh, blueprint type thing there. It looks like we should be able to open and close those windows because they've got shutters. I think Dave the delivery drone just dropped the wood off. Thank you, Dave the delivery drone. Good job. Let's get time ticking on a bit quicker, shall we? So let's just see. There we go. Look, that wall is being put together. Thank you very much, Ember. We have no research. Okay, hang on a second. Let's go and queue up some research. I mean, really, we're running out of things to research. We've only got six things left and one of those things we can't actually research because we can't find any fruit, which is a little bit of a shame, but there we go. So no wine for us. We'll have to stick with the tea, which is absolutely fine. So I think what we'll do is let's just go in order of the length of time it takes. So get railgun snipers first for a couple of days of research, then get carbon armor, then and a combat mechs, force field barriers and orbital radio. So there we go, we'll cure what we can do. If something else pops up that's you know to do with the research, we'll just sort of throw that into the mix somewhere. We'll see if it's more important or less important than these things. But very soon, we will have no research to do at all, which is going to be interesting because then we just got a free person. They don't have to spend their time at the research table. They can go and do a few other bits and bobs, which is quite good. So there we go. We can do that. We are currently 292 carbon nanotubes down. That's quite a lot. That's quite a lot. How many do they actually make? How many get put together from the machine here when it does its thing? What do we get? 10. Okay, <laughs> we are indeed very short of carbon nanotubes. That's, um, what's that, 30 runs-ish of that thing? And I don't know how long it takes. So that might be there for a while. I mean, really, we could do with another one of those we could do with another one of those to just print even more carbon nanotubes. To be fair, we do have four electronics right now. We've got four and Talas is putting together another one. Is it worth getting that done? Just get another one of those. Can we copy that? There is a copy button. There we go. Look, let's copy that and just put that there. That's okay. So now hang on, which side do they go to that one from? That side. So yeah, rotate it around so it's the same way. I think that would be quite good. If we get that done, yeah, pop that in, please. Get another one of those. And then as well, with some more electronics, I would like to get another drone. I'd like to get another delivery drone, just because it takes the burden away from the survivors of moving stuff around. So if we've got two drones zooming about the place and picking things up and moving things around, it means the actual survivors can do more useful stuff rather than just kind of lugging stuff about. They can you know, get on with harvesting or planting or crafting or training up or whatever else they need to do. So it would be quite good if we could have another delivery drone as well. But I think, hang on, where were they? Where was that? Was that under, where were they? I'm not quite sure where they were. Where are the delivery drones? Under storage? Yeah, there we go. I think there were quite a lot. Yeah, four electronics. That's quite a lot. And also, hang on, pause time for a second. Things are happening over there. So yeah, four electronics and also two CPU cores. Now I think, hang on, we are saying can we make some of those, but we're only making those when we've got enough electronics, I think. What do we need? Um, CPU cores, 25 silicon, oh no, five alloys. Oh, that's okay. That's not so bad. That's okay. In fact, you know what? Push the CPU cores up a little bit. And then, yeah, we're waiting on some ingredients for a pulse rifle and some bits and bobs for a laser pistol. 
but we haven't quite got the stuff we need for that either. Hang on. Let's push those up like that. Looks so CPU cores and power cells. That also needs electronics. Okay, we need lots of electronics. Okie doke, right, noted. Um, stuff's going to rot away. That's absolutely fine. We'll just get that back. Um, yeah, two people haven't got weapons, which is what I'll try to sort out there. Um, Layla has gone and caught pneumonia. Okay, that's generally quite bad. Is somebody... Ah, right, Layla's going to go and await treatment. Can somebody go and treat Layla? Because that's quite bad. We don't want her to have pneumonia. Right, hang on a minute. So, Vanessa, um, you can go and do that right now. Go and heal Layla, please. I think you might have been doing the research, but I think healing her is a little bit more important. And then we don't have enough storage space for the insect meat. Do we not? Are we that full of food? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> right. We've got lots of food. We've got so much food. Um, I mean, do we get, do we get another, do we get another freezer in? I know lots of people have said, oh, yeah, you should get yourself a cool room. So basically get one room, seal it off, stick some air conditioning on the wall, turn that down to like minus four degrees or whatever, and just make the entire room cold. And then you can just store stuff on shelves. But I think if we've got fridges, proper nice fridges and freezers, we should have those. They're just a little bit fancier than just a really cold room. And then we don't have to worry about having a, yeah, people getting cold going into the room and getting grumpy and such like. So I think, yeah, we'll just, we'll stick with the freezers. I do like the freezers. If it was a little bit sort of, a little bit more sort of proper and normal. However, that one is indeed a bit full. Now, what can we do with that? I mean, that one is also holding the, um, the skin bark stuff. We don't really need the skin bark stuff. We don't overly need that in there. I mean, it lasts for two years under a roof and we don't overly need it. And if we do need to go and get some, there's loads of it around. There's plenty of it just sort of popping up around the base. So maybe, are we storing that somewhere else? Are we storing that over here somewhere? Um, hang on. Skin bark. Oh, crikey, where would that be? Crafting material? Um, it's not in there, is it? It's not an electronic component. Whereabouts is it? Is it a raw fabric you think? Yeah, it's in here, isn't it? It's one of these. There you go. Raw fabrics, hides and skin bark. So what if we say, okay, we're not going to have skin bark in there anymore. We don't want that in there, please. Don't put skin bark in there. Don't put hides in there. Um, healing balm lasts one year, 24 days. Some very specific timing going on with these, but... Um, I mean, that's probably okay as well. Take that out. That's going to be fine. Okay, so they can go and sort that out. Also, we are currently storing some manure over here on the shelves, which is a little bit grim, a little bit unsanitary, and I would say a lot smelly. So possibly what we should do is, a few people have said, just build a little kind of covered thing outside over here and put the manure over there. Um, somebody said build a box, like a crate type thing. Oh yeah, there we go. A storage chest. Just put one of those over here and store all the manure in there, which would make sense, I suppose. I mean, can we can we do that? Just get one of these. I mean, a wood, a metal one, actually. If we are, if we're storing, if we're storing manure, it might make sense to have a metal one of those. A wooden one, the manure is going to soak into the wood eventually, isn't it? And it's going to get all a little bit grim, whereas a metal one, hopefully it's going to make, you know, sort of not get quite so damaged by the manure. Or what we could do, we could have a little shelter. Have a little shelter sort of in the middle there. And then we just put the manure under that. And it counts as being under a roof, which I think means it does last for quite a long time, doesn't it? Hang on, let's go and have a quick look. Um, yeah, under a roof is one year. One year. That should be plenty of time. It might make a little bit more sense to put it under a roof in like a little sort of tiny barn in the middle. That might work, actually. Let's do that. So let's get some shelters back in. We could have a purple leaf shelter. That might be quite nice. I don't think it has any difference to anything else, but it just uses some of the purple leaf we've got. Although we could only have one right now. Can we go and grab the tiniest bit of purple leaf? Is there any more purple leaf around? It's normally around the base of those big trees. Um, can we go and grab some? Can we grab some? Are we near to actually growing our own? Can we go and harvest our own? How far away are we from doing that? Um, 
Harvestable yield, six out of 20, if we were to harvest that right now. Why don't we just fertilize all the fields? And that'll use up the manure for now, and that'll be fine. So yeah, fertilize all of that, please. That should be fertilized. Yep, okay, we don't fertilize that, because I think we have plenty of that anyway. And that we've got loads of as well. How are we doing for um, grain, actually? What are, oh, we've got loads of grain. Got so much grain. 1,100 grain. Okay. <laughs> we've got a lot of grain. Maybe we need to go to here. Do we need to get another wood and oil press and just turn even more grain into the vegetable oil? Just because that would make sense. I mean, that one's doing other stuff. I mean, that one is just... Just do the vegetable oil. In fact, yeah, that's using up... That's using up insect meat. We don't really need to do that. Do the vegetable oil. Because we have so much grain, those two things can just turn that into vegetable oil. There we go. That's all we're doing. Then maybe, do we get a third one of those in? Can we have a fourth one? We can have sort of four of those. That would be... Hang on, hang on. Let's do that. Why don't we just do that? Let's go to there. So the oil press... Um, we'll have, I kind of feel like, oh, now, but we've got one metal and one wooden one. I kind of feel, can we change that into a wooden one? Can we reconstruct that into wood? And then take some of the alloys out? Don't make any difference at all as to its performance. So, um, yeah, okay, change that into a wooden one. And then we shall have a few more of these. So copy that. So rotate that round. It can't go next to it. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. That's because it's facing that way. Can we pick that up and move it so it's facing that way? And then pick, we can't pick that up because they're rebuilding it. Okay, no, that's fine. That's okay, I get that. That makes sense. Okay, so hang on a minute. Get an oil press, get a wooden one there. Put that like that. And then put another one. Oh, we can't put it there. Just Okay, hang on. Run time on nice and quick. Here we go. Let's get that done. Hang on. I was going to build a thing over here. <laughs> uh, and also, out over here, please. Can we get a purple leaf shell? In fact, one of those should be big enough. One of those, I think, should be big enough. I thought maybe we could have two sort of side by side. But no, they've got six squares under there. That should be plenty of room. So maybe in the middle over here... We just have a little shelter look like that. Just pop that in the middle and have a little bit of room in the front just in case we need to put something here. In fact, would it not make sense? Hang on a minute, changing my mind there. Um, to put that a little bit more to the front. And then if we need to build any kind of defensive turrets or whatever, we could put them behind it and it's not going to block access to the front. So I think we do that. And then in terms of storage... We go to stockpile and we go like that and put that across the back. And then all that's going to store, if we turn everything off, 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 where is manure? Where would that be? I don't quite know whereabouts it would be in here. Is it, and is it a crafting material? Apparently it's a crafting material. Okay, so store manure in there, please. And that's it. That's all you're going to keep in there. Just that. And then over here, we need to turn manure off. So don't store poop over there, please. Or on those shelves. Uh, not on those shelves. Not on those. Definitely don't store it in there because that would be bad. Does that count as other items? Yeah, so not in there. Not in there. And not in there. Wonderful. And not on there as well. Just a quick check. No, okay. So it won't be on there. Right, so hopefully... Dave the delivery drone should get on that. As soon as that's actually put together, that little kind of outdoor stockpile thing, they should be able to start moving stuff over. But okay, here we go. So I think, yep, yeah, you're fertilizing that. That's going to be good. That's a bit more purple leaf. That's never a bad thing. Nighttime has come around. How are we looking with the batteries? The batteries are looking very good. Okay, right, that's good. So we're looking good for power. We're looking good for food. We're not looking so good in terms of people with germs. Pneumonia. Right, hang on a minute. So now Ember's got pneumonia. Um, Vanessa. Ah, Vanessa's already on it, which is good. Right, Vanessa, get in there and give Ember a little bit of treatment, please. Some antibiotics will do the job just fine. Thank you. Just make sure it actually works. So check you. Suppress pneumonia. Okay, right. So they're a little bit sort of healthier now, which is good. And has that 
been updated. That's being upgraded. So we still haven't been able to turn that around. Oh, now Talas has got Swarm Fever. <laughs> oh, but he doesn't care. He's playing darts. I mean, again, it's cheating because you're standing way too near. Bernard is giving you disapproving looks there. Bernard is looking going, what? No, that's not how you play darts. You're standing next to the dartboard. Stand a bit further back. At least stand in this square here. <laughs> that's just leaning. That's just leaning and putting darts in a board. Um, oh, hang on. Ember played a, quote, funny, close quote, prank on Talas. Which implies it isn't funny at all. But okie doke, there we go. Um, yes, Talas, can you go and heal up? Talas is awaiting treatment. I think Layla is doing the medical stuff because she's got the medical symbol next to her. But okay, as long as somebody goes to treat him, I'm not so fussed. So you go and do that. And there we go. Right, so suppress swarm fever. I mean, yeah, that's okay. People are getting ill, but we can treat it, which is good. How are we doing with this over here? Still not got that sorted. Okay, maybe they're too busy working on other kind of things. Ah, you've turned that... Have you turned that around? Oh, no, hang on a minute. No, that was the upper floor you're looking at, wasn't it? Hang on a minute. They were on the upper floor. Um, yeah, if you could get that turned... Uh, well, get that upgraded and get those built, that would be really good. If we could just get a wriggle on with that, please, that'd be great. But, um, but no, being moved, no active task. Okay, everyone's asleep now. Maybe tomorrow they'll get on with that. I thought they would have done that already, but never mind. Maybe in the morning somebody will jump into life and do some shifting around over here. Oh, crikey's Okay, we have another dog. We have another Great Dane. Right, hello, hello there. How are you? This is nice. So, okay, um, already tamed uh, a small female Great Dane. Okay. I mean, yeah, this is good. This is all good. It's just becoming a bit of a drain on the food. It's becoming a little bit of a food issue because we are constantly having to provide food for now lots of dogs. And I mean, for the most part, it's okay. We do have the definitely not meat bananas over there that we're growing ourselves. And also they are around as well. Look, they're over here. So we can go and grab some of that. And there's loads of meat over here, loads of insect meat over there that can go for the dogs as well. The only thing is there's just an increasing amount of dogs that we have to feed and they're going through it at a great rate. Um, can we just, can we stop that now? Can you all just stop that? No more stork letter writing, you lot, please. Just all just stop it and just calm down. Right, okay, where is the new dog? So the new dog is, I mean, the new dog is teeny tiny. They are having some food though, which is fine. Um, okay, right, so we've got Bernard. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, you're for this is perfect. We'll train you uh, and then rename you. Not Great Dane, we've got Bernard. Let's have Betty. Let's have Betty and Bernard. There we go. Betty and Bernard are in the game together, as is the way of things. That's a good thing in the Geek Cupboard. Okay, so Betty and Bernard. And now we are going to need to put a bed somewhere for Betty. Has Bernard... Where is Bernard? Bernard is there. Has Bernard bonded with anybody yet? No. No sort of bonded survivors just yet. Okie doke. That's absolutely fine. Right, so let's copy one of those. So copy that. Does that copy the properties of that? I don't want it to be Bernard's bed as well. Hang on, we'll just put this in like that animal spot, right? Put that in like that. Little bit in the way of the door, but it's not too much of an issue, I don't think. And that can be Betty's bed when somebody gets to that, if we could. I think they've just done some stuff over here, which is useful. Now Annette's got pneumonia. Good grief. <laughs> You lot, stop stop being ill, would you please? Uh, right, copy those recipes, paste the recipes in. Um, yeah, that's being upgraded. Can somebody, hang on a minute, uh, Yoko, what are you up to? You're ma oh, you're making a shooty gun. That's absolutely fine. Vanessa, can you just nip over here and just reconstruct that? Can you just get that done just really easily? Just rebuild that. Then we've got scrap metal. That can get turned into alloys which are useful. Um, okay, and then we want to rotate that like that. So Vanessa, if you could then just move that, that would also be great. Thank you for your help. Yay, wonderful. And then get another one of those in, which would be brilliant. And then we've got four of those, just you know, turning all that grain we've got into something useful. So uh, yeah, again, Vanessa, if you could, uh, oh no, hang on, on that one there. Resources unavailable, hang on a minute. Dave the drone will be with you shortly, I imagine. And boop, there we go. Right, Vanessa, 
Get building, please. Construct that. Won't take too long, I don't imagine. Whack it with a hammer. Brilliant. There we go. Classic. The old ways are the best. And then copy that. Paste that into there. And there we go. Oh, no, not that one, actually. Oh, no and no. So those three can just be vegetable oil. That one can have the sort of animal fat and vegetable from palm meat as well. But really, got so much grain, that can be at the top. Okay. So now we just need somebody to come over and fill those up with grain and then get them working. Um, is Dave the delivery drone loading them up with grain? I'm not entirely convinced Dave the delivery drone is doing that. I don't know if they can actually operate the machinery. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Right. Ah, hang on a minute, though. We do now have... Oh, an unfinished weapon. Okay. <laughs> it's not exactly what I wanted to see, game. Have we not finished? Oh, no, hang on. We're still working on the pulse rifle. Okay, maybe we'll get that done at some point. Hopefully, that will be quite good. Um, okay, we're 252 carbon nanotubes down, but that's okay. You know, we're getting there slowly, but surely we're working on this. And the other thing is done. The other printer is done. Okay, this is good. So now we've got two of these working. Um, you're not on a control circuit, so that's going to keep working all the time. That's going to work throughout the day, throughout the night. That's just going to make a lot of lovely carbon nanotubes, which we need to do all the stuff over here. I mean, they are getting that sorted look. That is looking pretty good. Some good kind of your carbon defense is going in. But again, it's going to take a long while to get that set up. But uh, never mind, never mind. Do you know what? It's all fine. We've got ages. We've been here for three and a bit years. We can stay here for another three and a bit years and get some shiny carbon walls on the go. Okay, Yoko got to intellect three. That's quite good. Insufficient fuel. Okay, what are we trying to fuel up exactly? I'm not quite sure. Oh, one of the little kind of sort of furnace things over there. Um, what are we lacking? We are lacking... Oh, like literal sticks or whatever. Um, okay, is that what that is? That's sticks. A bundle of sticks or firewood. I mean, do we not just... Do we not just make them over here? Is that how we get sticks? Why has nobody done that yet? Why have we not worked on that? I think maybe. Are we are we giving people too many jobs? Are we giving them too much to do? Maybe there's just too much to do. Yeah, somebody's got to get over there and do some chopping of, of logs, basically. Turn it into sticks. But yeah, Layla's handling the 3D printer. That's good. That's good. We like that because that's going to make more carbon nanotubes. And that printer is also being handled. That is wonderful. How are we looking in terms of fuel? Only 55 fuel. Yeah, we need somebody to do all this. Nobody's doing any of this either, look. Oh, there we go. Yoko, ah, oh, as soon as I said, there we go. Right, Yoko and Annette on those two. And all the light, ah, I was going to say, all the lights just went out, but no, they're supposed to go out. We've told them to do that. It's all fine. Right, Yoko's making some more fuel. Um, Nova. Nova, Nova, Nova. Are you chopping down trees, Nova? Uh, okay. We probably do have enough wood, but that's okay. That's fine. Let's let Nova grab a bite to eat. And then when she's done that, we'll send her out on a fun trip because she does a lot of that. Uh, and yeah, a few people in the comments have said, when Nova comes back, send somebody else out on a trip. It doesn't always have to be her. After Nova comes back, send Talas on a trip. And then when Talas gets back, send Nova back out, that kind of thing. So maybe we could do that. Possibly we could think about that. Um, what exactly are you doing now, Nova? Just handling something or other. I'm not quite sure what you're doing, Nova, but okay. How about then you head out on a fun little trip? Where would you like to go? So control module debris. Let's not do that. Let's clear out one of these things. Yeah, that look. Two visits left of the broken bits of cruise ship. So Nova, you go out over there, please. That'll be a lovely, enjoyable trip. Another one. I was trying not to get blown up this time. Try not to get blown up or whatever. And... Have we nearly completed that gun? Have we nearly finished work on the shooty gun? We are 42% of the way through. Turns out it's very, very difficult to make shooty guns. Okie doke. Hang on, did we not find a helmet last time? A synthetic helm. Um, okay. Can we have a look at possibly giving that to somebody? Maybe Ember? They get shot at a lot. They're often up in the towers. Maybe if they're you know, being attacked by kind of flying things that might possibly help them a bit oh we need to put windows in the top thing now don't we um so yeah maybe we need to have a look at getting that on you 
Um, hang on, into here. The only thing is, you might have to take off your hat. So no change to heat tolerance, but you will be wearing a bit of armour. Uh, what does that do? Blunt deflection. Apparently a straw hat offers the teeniest, tiniest bit of armour. <laughs> it's a bit of straw. So blunt deflection 1%. Whereas that's blunt deflection 10%. Piercing deflection 5%. I mean, let's just give that to her. Let's give her a lovely new hat. Just because why not, eh? We might as well do something with it. That's going to be fun. So, Ember, you can have a lovely hat. That's going to be nice for you. Um, and then, yes, of course, I completely forgot about this. That's all done. Now we need windows. Many, many windows. And yeah, there we go, look. So now, yeah, large wooden window open and close on that one. So these, the metal windows, you can't open and close those. They've got blinds, but they're always like that. They're always shut, so we can't shoot out of those. These, though, we can shoot out of. Okay, so I think, yeah, let's copy. And we've got loads of wood, so just put them all the way along here. So we can just get a big line of people just doing some shooting. Um... It can go right to the edge. That's fine. Might look a little bit strange, but that'll do. And then all the way across this side as well. In fact, zoom out a bit to make life a bit easier. So like that, like all this. There we go. Okay, so that's quite a lot. I imagine that'll be Dave, the delivery drone's job, just to go and grab all this stuff and just, yeah, there we go. Look, Dave's flying around. Electronics, yeah, we are low on power cells and we have no CPU cores at all. Okay, have we got a thing? that we can go and plunder nearby. There is another bit of spaceship there, which we could potentially go and salvage. Let's go and salvage that over there. It's surrounded by friendly things, look. We like flathead friends, and we like all that lot. So, okay, right, that's good. We'll see if we can get some stuff from there. That might be useful. How are we looking over here? Have we got this? Ah, okay. Have we used up all the manure? I imagine we've used... Oh, no, there's still 204 manure. Where is the manure? <laughs> Better not still be on the shelves. Whereabouts is it, then? Um, Hang on. It must be... Oh, it's going to be upstairs, isn't it? Botherations. No, don't store manure up here, either. No. <laughs> no manure. Stop, stop it. Just desist. Um, it's not a construction material. I mean, it's arguable whether it's a crafting material, really. But I okay, get no manure and don't store it up there either. And not there. And not on this bit. Hang on, like that. Click on that. Not just there. And not on that shelf. Though I don't think they should be putting it on the shelf. Okay, right. Dave, can you start moving this around? Can you have all the big jobs and start moving all the poop about? There we go. Right. So it's gone from there. Ah, and here we go. I scavenged as much scrap metal as I could find and found an emergency crate containing first aid kits and antibiotics. Okay, well then, Nova, good job. And you're coming back with your arm not hanging off, which is a good thing. Okay, no, good job. Nova can make their way back. Let's make sure that all of that is now moved. Burning cruise vessel. <laughs> Crikey. Hang on. Can we just make sure that all the manure's out here? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, a heavily burning small cruise vessel crashed near the horizon. Maybe someone survived, or there is something worth salvaging. Why are so many ships crashing around here? Oh, hang on. I think Nova just moved a pulse rifle over there. Is that now finished? Is it done? There we go. We have another gun. Wonderful. Right, okay. Vanessa, you can have that. So you... Go and equip your pulse rifle, please. You go and have that. That's going to be wonderful. Is everybody suitably attired, by the way? Oh, okay. Ember doesn't have any shoes. Hang on a minute, Ember. Go and equip some shoes when you can. That'd be quite good. That oh, Your trousers are looking a little bit worn out as well. Okie doke. That's all fine. That's all fine. Okay. Your clothes are now looking a little bit tatty as well, Layla. But I think we have got spares, which is good. Right. Okay. So, yeah, now... Can we make sure that, yeah, that pulse rifle is dished out? And there we go. So it's now just down to Annette. Annette just needs to get a weapon of some kind. She's not that good at using weapons, but it's better than her having no weapon at all. How are we looking down here then? So a laser pistol, not enough resources. So power cells and CPU cores. We've got a power cell. We haven't got any CPU cores. So CPU cores is 25 silicon and 5 alloys. Okay, so maybe... 
they will now on that bench start working on CPU cores. How are we doing for electronics? Three of those. I mean, is it worth getting the delivery drone in? Or possibly, how are the batteries looking? Is it worth getting another solar panel in? Because that could also be quite handy. That might be quite useful. Or another wind turbine. We've only got three of those. We've got one, two, three, four, seven solar panels. Maybe another wind turbine, just steadily providing power throughout the night, might be quite a good thing. In fact, look at that. The power just went up loads. I imagine, you know, there's a strong gust of wind there. So possibly it might be worth getting one of those in as well. Um, where are they? Wind turbines. Yeah, one electronics, 25 alloys. Let's get another one in. I think we should do that. We'll do it so it's pointing the same way as the others. I don't think it makes any difference, but let's get another one of those in just to add a little bit more resilience to our power thing. So, you know, at night we are generating some more energy, which is a useful thing. Um, and let's see what everyone else is up to. Ember is doing some research. Right, we've scavenged 78 more scrap metal. Okay, so the alloys are looking pretty good. Alloys are looking very good. How are we doing for bricks? Are we making any more bricks? Are we giving up on bricks? I suspect possibly we've stopped doing bricks uh, until... Uh, what are we, until 300. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, we're focused on alloys for these, have we? So that one's still making concrete. We've got a lot of concrete going on. That is then concentrating on alloys. But I think... Hang on. Talas, hang on. I'm going to ruin your plans here. Can that go back up to bricks, please? Can that be a brick furnace? Because, yeah, we're saying do 300 bricks. And it will be quite good to upgrade everything to brick eventually. That would be quite fun. Um, because, yeah, the, I quite like the brick walls. It looks okay. And we're just keeping concrete for something else. Maybe we could have concrete walls over here. Not so bothered about those. Um, yeah, concrete fortifications. 600 integrity. As opposed to the 300 we've got now. Um, I mean, is it worth just for fun? Just picking that and that and that and that and that. So four bits? Have I not picked that bit? Five bits. And just swapping that out for concrete. Just because we haven't seen concrete stuff yet. And that might be quite fun. So yeah, we'll see what we can do with that as well. And we've just researched carbon armour. Crikeys. Okay, right. We're going to need more carbon for that. But that's okay. We've got the two machines busily working away. Hopefully people are loading them up. How's our fuel looking? We're out of fuel. Okay. <laughs> that's not going to help. That's not going to help at all. Maybe on the crafting table here, we put the fuel thing back in. Craft fuel from, yeah, just from the oils and fats and things. Just from vegetable oil. Do we have lots of vegetable oil? Can we see where that is? We've only got five lots. Okay. Are they working on it over here? That's awaiting materials. That's awaiting. Okay. We need to get them to focus more on this over here. That's quite bad. Um, how much manure do we have? We could, potentially, we've got loads of manure. We could, hang on. This is a bit grim. Craft um, liquid fuel out of manure then, if you really have to. Do that until we have, yeah, 250, please. It's a bit grim, but there we go. And that one, uh, we'll do that first, actually. And then, is it worth... Where's a big load of animals? Over there, look. So if we go like that. 260 manure. Yeah, go and use that, please. And that means that Dave the drone might zip out over there and pick up manure and put it over here. And then we could potentially take that and turn it into fuel at some other point in the future. Okay. Right. I see. This is all fine. Everything's sort of working-ish, maybe. Ooh, these things... How are they doing? They are 80% of the way through. Finally, the lovely wormy plants. A few people in the comments have said, oh, we should put a fence around this to stop the so, you know, the native animals coming in and nibbling at these. But they're not food. They're not going to eat these. They're not an edible thing. If it was, you know, these things here, if it was the buttermelons or the grain cobs, we possibly would need a fence. But they're not edible things. The animals don't come to eat them because they're not food. So we're okay with them out here. They're absolutely fine. Right. Okie doke. 
I think Dave the delivery drone is gathering an awful lot of manure to bring back, but this is good for us because eventually we can turn that into fuel, which is going to be wonderful. But I think now pretty much everybody is asleep. Okie doke. Oh, there they go. They're all getting back up now. And there we go. Look, crafting. This is what we want. That's some oil. Um, I don't know if there's something in there or not, but hopefully, yes, we can get lots of oil out of this and we can turn that into fuel because now we need quite a lot of fuel. Um, is the balloon fueled? No. Okay, I think. Can somebody fuel the balloon? Because I wouldn't mind doing that expedition for the thing that we just saw. Um, we need five bits of fuel for the balloon. Do we have any? No, not at all. Okay. Oh, now there's a solar flare as well. Well, isn't that just brilliant? Okay. So we're possibly going to go through the power quite a bit. We have scavenged one of those things, whatever they are, another mech core. That could be quite useful. It's a good job we built the other wind turbine just to provide a little bit more power. Now we're burning through it more with the solar flare. Um, ah, there we go. Right. The balloon is fully fueled. That is good. Burning cruise vessel. Yeah, let's send Nova out to look at that. Nova, nip out and have a look at that, please. Let's see what's happening with that. Can we find an alive person in there and get another survivor to join us? Or are we just going to find a load of useful stuff? Or are we possibly just going to get injured in some sort of terrible explosion disaster type thingamajig? Time will tell, I suppose. Oh, and look at that. They got the concrete defenses done. That looks okay. That looks a little bit sturdier than that just there. I mean, okay, that looks good. You know, big bits of wood, spiky bits on the top. That looks okay. But that just looks a little bit better, doesn't it? It looks a little bit sturdier. I think maybe, given that we do have 470 bits of concrete, possibly, why don't we just upgrade sort of that? Hang on a minute. That didn't work at all. Well, that across there, look. So upgrade all of those wooden fortifications. Turn that into concrete please and we'll see what we can do ah there we go right what happened with this um i recognize the shapes of a cruise ship or at least what's left of it after the monstrous crash i'll make a note of the location for future visits things will surely be and there will surely be things to scavenge once it cools down don't waste time look for survivors poses some risks you've got your gas mask thing on so you should be able to breathe so hopefully that should help out a little bit um, do you know what? Yeah, go and look for survivors. Please be careful. Um, my lungs soon filled with smoke as I was making my way around the crash looking for survivors. We've got a gas mask thing. We specifically gave you one of those to sort of deal with this very situation. I covered my nose and mouth as best I could and kept looking for the longest time, but I didn't find anyone. I'll be heading back now. That was a very disappointing trip out because I don't think she's going to bring anything back. Does she grab sort of resources as she comes back? I'm not entirely sure. I think, yeah, we found some um, CPU cores over there, which is very handy. That's always a good thing. So yeah, some good stuff coming from over there. Uh, right, let's make sure Nova gets back. She does appear to have, oh, smoke inhalation. I mean, you've got, you've got a respirator mask. Ensure safe breathing during toxic air events and dust storms, but not while they're out on an expedition, it seems. Which is a little bit silly, let's be honest. That's a little bit daft. Oh. Her railgun sniper thing is looking a little bit tired. They're quite good. Music night. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, there we go. Seven o'clock tonight. Everyone's having a party. Brilliant. Yeah, let's do it. No doubt we're going to get attacked just before seven o'clock because that's generally what happens in this game. And look, they're working on the upgrades over here to the wall. We've still got 300 concrete left. So we can potentially keep on doing a little bit more work on this. I think, yeah, we'll have... These kind of bits as concrete, these sort of defences here as concrete, and the ones around here, where insects are more likely to attack, will have those as the sort of carbon ones. But yeah, the concrete over here is looking pretty good. Can we change that? What can we upgrade that to? A carbon fence. These are all of these aren't great options, are they? Okay, never mind. That might have to be a little wooden fence for now. Little bit naff, but never mind. And I think let's get those fortifications upgraded as well. Change them from wood to concrete. There we go. I imagine Dave, the delivery drone, is going to fly over and just drop off the bits and bobs they need. And then eventually somebody can come over here and they can just get on with that. In fact, Ember, I think, is doing it right now. Look, Ember is doing some reconstructing work. Um, you might have just dropped off the resources, but there we go. And I think hey, even after all that, look, we still do have 50 concrete left. That's just kind of quietly working away over there, which is wonderful. So there we go. Look, 
some slightly better defences going in. That's never a bad thing at all. Okay, music night is very much underway. Is anybody coming to actually play any music? I thought it was supposed to start at seven o'clock. It's now eight o'clock. Is anybody joining in? Right, Annette's here. Annette's ready to celebrate. That's good. Thank you, Annette. Um, I mean, yeah, other people are just sort of doing their own things. Jayla's having an argument with Yoko about DIY. <laughs> they argue about some weird things, but I suppose if you're trapped with the same people for a long time, you're going to argue about strange things. But okie doke. I mean, there we go. And Nets now joining in down here. Talas is attending a music night. Is Talas going for the didgeridoo? Talas is going for the didgeridoo. Ember is attending a music night. Everyone's here now. I think everybody is here, which is going to find Nova isn't here. Nova! <laughs> Nova's going, do you know what? I'm not bothered about music night. I'm going to tap this gigantic engine thing with a hammer. That's what I'm going to do. Away with the music. Okay, you carry on doing that, Nova. That's your choice. You were invited. You got the invite. You got the email. So, well, yeah, if you don't want to turn up, that's your choice. Everyone else having a lovely time. Um, a few people did say yes. Don't forget the new leisure opportunities in terms of the arcade machines and such like. I think we could get one of those in. And it would be exciting, but... We might possibly have to wait a while because that does require carbon nanotubes. Not of our carbon is going on this bit over here. We're, look at that, it's about halfway done. That's about 50% complete. That looks okay. Quite like that. So um, yeah, that's going to take a little while to get sorted. So maybe when the defences over here are turned into lovely, lovely carbon defences, we could then treat ourselves by means of celebration to an arcade machine. That might be quite fun. I don't think we have any of the musical instruments, which is a bit of a shame. A few people in the comments have said, get another one set up. Just get another didgeridoo, and then three people can play music. But yeah, it's okay. Two is okay for now. Shooting star, we've seen that lots of times. That's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, okay, right. How is the music night going? Is everybody having fun? She had a childhood memory with Ember whilst playing the didgeridoo. Very impressive. You sort of shared it via the medium of didgeridoo music, which is good. And there we go, look. The music night is done. Everybody's happiness increases. But look at their happiness. 100%, 98%, 74% and rising. But she missed out on the music night, I think, because she was out and about. Vanessa's 100%, Talas 100%, Yoko 100%. Everyone's really happy, <laughs> which is good. That's good for us. That's a wonderful thing to see. And we have six electronics. That's very good as well. Okay, things are ticking over very, very well indeed. Let's just keep things going, shall we? As well, possibly, instead of upgrading those defences there, we possibly should have done these here. Maybe we should have done those fortifications. Hang on. Let's also request that they get changed into concrete. Oh, hang on. But no, they're around here. Maybe they should also be... Upgrade those to carbon. Yeah, carbon fortifications on there, please. And then carbon just there as well. So we are significantly short of the carbon we need. Now we're back to 322. Botherations, <laughs> never mind. And we're going to get attacked. However, the good thing is they've left the attack until after the music night. Which is very nice. Thank you, insects. So 17 humming flies... And two manhunting glutches. Okay. Interesting. So now we've got a combined sort of you know, land and air attack on the go. Whereabouts are they? Oh, they're over there. Okay, the glutches over there as well. Is that where the glutches are? Can't quite. Yeah, they're in there, look. They're sort of hiding out among the trees. So they're going to come this way, which is a bit of a nuisance because our one single sort of air defense gun is over there. Um, okay. Can we get one of those built in time? We might have to possibly force everybody to go and work on it, but we do need another one anyway. And maybe one being on this corner would be no bad thing. Right. Defense. Let's just chuck one of these in, shall we? So hang on. Automated turret. Flak cannon. Uh, specially designed to shoot at aerial targets. Okay, so if we rotate that round... So it's sort of facing... I think they just face this side, don't they? It doesn't really matter. It turns around anyway. So pop that there. So hang on. So that needs one CPU core, which we don't have. Bother. Okay. <laughs> 
Right, I've got an idea. Cancel that. Cancel that. Hey, shooty gun over here. Can we please pick up the shooty gun from there and move it to just here for now? <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. And then I think, motion sensor-wise, if baddies are coming within that range, that should switch on. And I think they're going to fly over, aren't they? They're going to fly across here. So hopefully that will be active, he says, not entirely convinced. However, we do have all of the things set up over here now. <laughs> so we'll get to see if the aerial defence hallway thing actually works, or whether it was just a great big load of nonsense. I'm not entirely sure. Right, OK. Get time ticking on. Uh, we've scavenged. We've scavenged a CPU core. OK. We could potentially... Get another one of those built then. We could get that done. Who is moving the thing around? Who's moving the thing? Because that's really quite important. Um, Vanessa. Vanessa is currently... You're on 89% rest. Vanessa, I apologise. I'm going to interrupt your sleep. But I'm going to tell you to move that thing. Move the flat cannon turret, please. Like, really urgently. Really quickly. <laughs> Just pick it up, put it in your pocket, shifty it down here. Some tea rotted away, that's okay. We can always make some more. I do like how they just sort of pick it up and carry it. I mean, that thing is, look at it, it's enormous. It's massive. How do they pick that up and just do, 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 here I am carrying a massive weapon. But no, there we go. Just pop that in over there, right you are. Okay, right, so that's, that's over there. I mean, do we move, do we move that thing? Do we move that one as well? Uh, what do we need to actually... What do we need for a motion sensor? It's on the corner of this level here, a little kind of ziggurat type thing. Um, it would kind of stretch out around here, wouldn't it? What do we need to build one of those? And can we get it done before we get attacked? Um, where is it? Defense and motion sensor. A few people have said that the sirens are quite good against the... Uh, against the flying insects. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't seem to imply they are just there. It attracts hostile animals when working. So you can sort of lure animals out of the way, possibly. We do need to put some traps down in here as well. That'll be quite good. A flamethrower might be quite fun as well, because, yeah, they're always good. Um, one CPU... Oh, no botherations. Okay. That will require a CPU... Okay, what we're going to do is... We're going to move this as well. We're just going to put that to there to hopefully encourage that to start firing a little bit earlier. Um, and Vanessa, don't worry about the research. Worry about moving the thing. Move that motion sensor, please. We need that moved. I mean, that's top important mega job number one. Move that over, please. Because any second now, this attack is going to begin. Okay, the attack has begun, but... The motion sense has been moved. That's brilliant. Okay. <laughs> right. Here we go. So Annette... We'll, we'll draft everybody. But Annette's going to be completely no use at all. So Annette, you can just stand inside. Just stay indoors. That's going to be the best thing you can do. And then everybody else, we want to line up in here. Hang on. So go like that. So we want you just there. And then Nova can come in just there. And Vanessa can go in just there. And Talas... Uh, oh, that's gone a bit strange, hasn't it? Where was... Hang on a minute. You can go just there. Yoko can go just there. And Layla can go just there. Okay. Are they all going to the right place? I'm not entirely convinced they're all going to the right place. But if you can all just run up and get into the right places. Get indoors, Vanessa, incredibly quickly. Okay. The attack is underway. These guns also shoot upwards. So those guns have also sort of sprang into life, which is good. Um, okay, let's just... We have to run time on in dribs and drabs here. Because I'm a bit concerned. Yeah, look, you lot are outside, you silly people. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Yeah, the fact they were quite nearby didn't help. And they move pretty quickly. So Talas might take a little bit of damage here. Talas is taking damage. Okay, Talas. Oh, everyone's just casually climbing up ladders and things. Okay. <laughs> right, our thing over here didn't work. But the flak cannon is doing its thing. Where are the glutch things? 
Are they just kind of shambling over? Yeah, they're sort of making their way over. That's absolutely fine. Um, I mean, Vanessa's just kind of standing there not doing anything. <laughs> uh, okay. They have very limited visibility in this thing here. This this doesn't really work, does it? Hang on, go up a floor. Um, yeah, they can only see things. Yeah, they can't see over there at all. I suppose it is off to the side, I guess. If they were attacking over here, it might be a little bit better. But yeah, they just can't see. So can we can we get you to move to... Can you move? Are you allowed to move? I want you to kind of go just... Why can't you move? Yeah, go to... No, that's downstairs. I don't want you to go downstairs. I want you to move to sort of here, look. If you lot can all just get inside, that would be brilliant. Get inside, look. <laughs> but then... Yeah, they can't... Oh, hang on. You are shooting. I think they are able to shoot a little bit. They can shoot at certain things. Right, there you go. They are being picked off. I think all the flying thing is going to be dead soon. It's, it's the automated defences that have dealt with that. Okay. <laughs> right. And now... Okay, so that corridor thing... Not really great. Not brilliant, let's be honest. Um, can we get down here into the towers quickly? Have we got time to get into the towers? I don't suppose it really matters. Everyone else can stand down. I think the... Um, the the shooty turrets can deal with all this so just undraft undraft all of that you lot can all go and do your stuff ember and nova can go and deal with these things but yeah look i mean the shooty get where are you going where are you oh, you're bleeding out are oh, you're gonna die anyway okay right that's good for us and that one is already a bit dead that one is possibly gonna die any second now bleeding out health three health one Give it a sec, and bop. Okay, I think Nova might have possibly finished it off, but there we go. You two and draft. Okay, so you two are immediately going on to healing duties. Um, okay, that corridor thing, a sort of um, aerial defence hallway, not quite as successful as I would like to be. It, it didn't really work properly. As I thought it might do. Hang on, let's just go and do this. So humming flies, butcher those, glutch, butcher those. I could have thought, why is it not selected those ones? Humming flies, butcher those. Um, humming flies, butcher those. One's upon the roof, look. And humming flies, butcher those. Uh, get that as well. Yeah, that didn't kind of work as I thought it might. They don't have that much in the way of um, sort of visibility out of the windows. Uh, I mean, oh, did we do that wrong? Are we supposed to do that slightly differently? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I think we just need more of the automated turret things. I think we need more of those. Did that take much in the way of damage? A teeny tiny bit. A little tiny bit of damage. Okay. That's, that's okay. That's fine. I mean, are they attacked on the corner? Do we need windows here and here? Might make sense of windows there as well. Um, Talas is... Uh, you've got Acid Spear and uh, an Arm Infection. Oh. Oh. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on. Is somebody going to heal Talas? Hopefully, yes. Ah, yeah, right, Ember's doing it. Okay, thanks, Vanessa. I'm, I'm glad we've given you the priority job of doing doctoring that you completely ignore all the time. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much. That's so useful. Wonderful. Um, okay, right. How's everything else doing now? We've got no fuel. But I imagine things are going to slow down in terms of, in terms of uh, sort of production for now, because people are injured and we have a lot of buttering to do. Right, let's get that done, shall we? Let's get all the buttering done. Just going to clear that all out of the way. Some teeth rotted away. We can make some more. Annette is unarmed, but I think we are working on a gun. I think we're working on a pistol, which is very good. So hopefully soon. We can give a pistol to Annette, and she's not going to be quite so useless in a fight. Um, and then, have we unlocked the rail? We did unlock the railway sniper things, didn't we? What do we need to make one of those? Because Nova's one is going to break in a bit. So how do we make that? That is 10 nanotubes, one power cell, and one CPU cut. Okay, pop that into the list for now. So make another one of those, if you can. Um, yes, it would be useful if you could. So we'll pop that up like that. Okay, there we go. So yeah, if we can work on one of those, that would be good. Uh, okay, right, they're all going to go to bed in a second because it's quite late and they're all a bit tired and injured and wounded. So let's let them go to bed and then we'll pop back in the morning 
and just see what we can get up to. Okay, a little bit of time has ticked by. It's currently three o'clock in the afternoon of the following day, and I think we've just made a laser pistol. Finally, hooray, right, and Ned, we can give you a pistol and get rid of that little kind of nagging message there. So uh, yeah, let's go to here, and whatever you're doing right now, finish that off, and then go and give yourself a shooty gun, Ned. I mean, you don't like doing the shooting so much, you're not that bothered. You're indifferent about coma, but you know what? It's okay. It's better to at least be armed and not really want to use it than not be armed at all and then get horribly killed to death. The big creature thing. How's this landed right out here? Hello? Flying reptile. Um, okay. I don't think we need to go and do anything about it. It seems peaceful. I think it just flew in to have a little look at what was going on. Hi. <laughs> Are you okay? Good. I'm glad you... There's another one popping by. Okay, why is that? Why are they suddenly landing over here? I mean, you're very welcome. It's okay, it's lovely. You're fascinating things. I just don't know why you're landing over here. Has something caused that? I do not know. Um, okay, right. How are we doing for everything else? Hopefully. How are we looking for fuel? So we've got five bits of fuel right now. The balloon is fully refueled, which is handy. These things, however, are doing nothing. So we're not printing any carbon nanotubes because we haven't got enough fuel, I imagine it is. Yeah, so resources in terms of alloys is good, but it's the fuel that's the issue. So we've got, hang on, where is it? In there, so 199 manure. So we should be able to make some fuel out of manure, which is a grim thing to do, but we should be able to do it. And then we should also, how many oils and fats have we got? How many of those have we got? Well, we've got 40 vegetable oil. So I would have thought we should be making quite a bit of fuel. So, okay, that's the current issue, is it? We're st struggling with fuel. Okay, no, that's fine. I mean, let's let another, you know, another day's just flown by there very quickly. So uh, let's let them have another night's sleep. And then we'll see if we can work on the fuel thing. Also, oh, this is going to be exciting. The synth plant field, the wormy plants are now finally fully grown. We can get ourselves... 240 synthetic textiles. That sounds like quite a lot. Okay, somebody go and do that, please. That's really important. And I think, is that coming down? Yeah, 96% harvest growth now. So yeah, that is coming down a little bit because, you know, they're, they're ready to be harvested, but they're sort of, you know, rotting in such a little bit. Um, oh, another pregnant animal. <laughs> Yay. Okay, right, we'll just ignore that. And New Year's Eve. Okay, yeah, Vanessa wants to have a party. Absolutely, yes, have a party. Hopefully it won't be ruined by a load of angry insects coming to try and kill us. And Annette is over here harvesting. I mean, the wormy plants are huge. Look how big they are. <laughs> they are gigantic big things. Okay, that's quite surprising. I thought they were just going to be little, but no, they're huge things. And Dave the drone there helping out with the sort of moving of these goods. That's quite useful because you know, Annette is brilliant at doing this, but she's quite slow. So if Dave the drone could grab that and just take it all away, that would be brilliant. Now, Layla, you are planting all these things, which is good, but I was going to hold off, Rob. Although, although actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? We can leave that. It doesn't really take any kind of effort. Nothing comes along to eat it, and it takes a long while for them to come to sort of full growth. So it's going to be, I don't know, end of next year, possibly middle of next year, maybe by the time they're ready to be harvested again. So that's absolutely fine. I just don't want to kind of load everything up onto the shelves with a load of synthetic materials that we can't really use. But I think that should be okay. Right, there we go. Choppity, choppity, chop. And if we just get that one little bit done just there, that means that entire field is replanted. We are 312 carbon nanotubes down. But I think it's looking okay over here. So that side is entirely done now. That little bit in there is looking okay. It's just that side over there and then the big walls at the back. Okay, right, this is fine. This is fine. We are slowly, steadily churning our way through this and we're now topping up on electronics and various other bits as well. We're making, ooh, we're making some power cells. That's quite good. And now there's a solar eclipse. Well, isn't that wonderful? Okay, so all of our solar panels have switched off. Although, to be fair, it's coming to good time because it's six o'clock. So they would have switched off in about an hour. Is it anyway? So how are the batteries looking? The batteries are looking pretty full. So what I think we'll do is, 
we will fly through the night and then we'll try and get through to the morning if we can and just see how the power holds. But yeah, we did build the extra wind turbine, although that's hardly doing anything. Look, that's hardly doing anything at all. Right, if the power does get too low, of course, the fuel generator will kick in. That's got a day and a half ish worth of fuel, so it should be OK. But yeah, I think we've got plenty of battery power. Um, the solar eclipse can't last that long. Aren't they only short things? Oh, here we go. New Year's Eve. Do you know what? This is fun. We'll get New Year's Eve done. Everyone can have a fun party. They can all do their fireworky thing. We'll zoom out and look at the fireworks because that's quite fun. Yay. There we go. Oh, look, some sky fireworks as well. Some sort of meteor fireworks. And there we go. Where have they got the fireworks from? <laughs> I have no idea. They just keep them in their pockets. Just some handy pocket fireworks. Uh, don't put fireworks in your pockets, kids. Um, but yeah, there you go. They just celebrate a new year, having a fun time doing so. We'll just tick time on. Um, I mean, yep, three o'clock in the morning. There we go. Celebration is done. Oh, Vanessa's still celebrating. She was like, I'm not done yet. I want more celebration. I've got more fireworks in my pocket. Hang on. And then it kind of goes all misty, look. Like it does after fireworks sometimes. You kind of get that sort of haze, which I do quite like. So there we go. And then I think, there we go. We begin year four. Our fourth year down on whatever this planet is. Oh my goodness me. And look, we've got still seven people. Everybody is still alive, which is brilliant. Um, Okay, right. I think with that done, we'll pause time for now. And I think we'll wrap things up. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. Currently, the issue is fuel. That is our little bit of a, so that's our sort of a sticking point at the minute. So we'll do what we can next time to try to get some more fuel sorted out. How are we looking again for the vegetable oil? 75 vegetable oil. So it should be, uh, we're making good luck charms in there, apparently. Uh, I mean, that's good. That's good. It would be good if we could just have liquid. Oh, I've done that as times and, and not until. OK, that might be a bit of a problem. OK, do that until we have 200 fuel, please. <laughs> and do that above the good luck charms. I know the good luck charms are very important, but possibly having fuel to other stuff is maybe a little bit more important. So there we go. Hopefully somebody can come over and work on that. Let's just check, shall we? Is somebody going to come and do that? Yeah, there we go. Look. There we go. Layla has come down and is immediately crafting some fuel from the vegetable oil. OK, there we go. So I think yeah, now we know that's underway. We'll pause time. But yeah, things are looking very good. We've got eight electronics and now we're making things like CPU cores and power cells and everything else. So, yeah, food is looking pretty good as well. So I think I think with that done, we'll wrap things up for now. Come back next time and just see what happens. Maybe next time we should possibly Go along and do one of those kind of uh, expedition bits, which are sort of one of the, I think, the required in-game things. I think they're one of the things we have to do in-game. So maybe we'll go and do one of those next time as well, if we can fuel the balloon. I do not know. We'll find out when we come back. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in next time out in Stranded Alien Dawn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. We'll substitute the chicken broth with how about some beer the showstopper challenge is complete and i think you will agree that is that is an absolute showstopper that's a showstopper and a half the jug is a little bit broken why have you turned up to christmas dinner in a suit and tie okay so put that down no not that no pick it up oh no that's set the kitchen on fire <laughs>